I'm a Muslim and I've been for the past over 30, 40 years, I've been living with Christians as my neighbors, as my friend, as family, we've been living together. And grew up in a Muslim community, there was that integration, not only that integration, where a Christian sees a Muslim as his brother and a neighbor. Once upon a time in my life, I lived with, in a mixed community with people of other faiths, and we grew up like without even knowing the difference. The tension that began as a result of the market space. Well, later on, it turned out to be ethnic and religious. Later on, we also saw the, the issue that has to do with the 2011 election. Also, it also led to that expansion. Christian living within the Christian axis, Muslim living within the Muslim axis. Um, people were no longer, they don't longer trust each other again. So they feel it's better to go to some areas where they feel their people are there. Yeah, it might be ethnic, uh, but most especially religious. Even schools, when we send our children, we send them to Christian-only schools or Muslim-only schools, so they grow up without knowing their other um, faith. Even though uh, we have some other areas that you still have both the Christian and Muslim, but uh, living there at times uh, you have to li live with some kind of shock and trauma. Let's learn to live together. Let's learn to understand our differences. Majority of my neighbors are Christian. Few Muslims live in there and we live in harmony. So we are living together and I urge government to use such kind of satellite communities to promote such kind of coexistence that was lost in so many big towns of the state. NGOs working on a uh, faith-based approach to unite people, to, to, to create more understanding of what we call tolerance among the believers. It's very possible for Muslim and Christian to forgive each other for peace and unity to reign in the country.